Hello, my name is Kim. This is my final project for computer graphics class. The name of this project is Pong. And let me show you how it works before I walk through the code. So in the start scene, it looks like a normal Pong, but I sort of wanted to make it more visually appealing. So I made it so that every time it the square hits the vertical bar, horizontal bar, then I made it to change the color of the background. And as the square hits the horizontal bar, then the speed of the square will get faster and faster. And then when it hits the bottom, then it'll show you your score text and then in the middle of the screen and you should press F1 to restart. And then it'll restart the scene hit and then if you press ESC in the middle of the scene then the game will pause for a sec with its little bit of movement effect and then you press ESC again to restart the continue resume the game so this is basically what I have for this final project and let me walk through the code so basically for this project I am using the glut.h library I will link the website where you can download it in the description below so for this project, I used all mostly used the methods in the glut.h. Basically, glut init initializes the glut, and then the display will initialize the display and initializes all the settings. JDUT init window size will initialize the window size and so on. And then it'll create the window in line 64. And then I initialize RGB values to zero so the background color can be displayed as black in the beginning. And then the init method will set up all the settings for the basic background so I'm setting the color of the background and the matrix mode to projection load identity and orthographic mode and then matrix mode back to model view matrix load identity Then these are all the callback functions. So the display func handles all the displays that are shown in the screen. This pas passive motion func will handle the mouse movement within the scene. The idle func will run the given method in the runtime with the, with the loop the keyboard funk will handle the normal keyboard key inputs like qwer1234 yep escape and the special funk handles the special keys for like f1 f2 f3 etc main loop handles main event loop And in the 
display method I am drawing all everything that you saw in the screen so in this part it's going to sh draw the ball and this part is going to draw the horizontal bar that was shown in the bottom and these two methods are to display the text that you saw on the top of the screen and top left of the screen I'm using the bitmap here and basically calling JUT swap buffer will show all the text on the screen passive motion handles the again it handles the cursor movement move square will handle the square's movement within the scene basically when it hits the vertical bar then it's going to make the speed faster change the color of the scene and then when it hits the bottom part then it'll end the game and that's it for the code walkthrough thank you again for watching i'm kim and bye bye